Hello guys, thanks for watching, Adrian here. So uh, in this super short video I want to say a few words about the latest updates of uh, Black Dashboard uh, Django, the premium version. Starting with uh, 104, uh, with this version the product uh, comes with a new code base and a new uh, design pattern where the UI is uh, no longer hard-coded inside the product so it's uh, external and is installed during the modules installation as an external library on top of this uh, teamable uh, uh, ui layer um, the product supports um, uh, continuous integration continuous deployment uh, using render as a as a deployment infrastructure so I will demonstrate both features um, in this video and um, uh, I hope will be useful for um, any Django developer, beginner or experience that needs to style his uh, application uh, with a modern uh, UI. Okay, another thing is that um, the, the product once the purchase is, uh, is done, the, the product is not delivered as a zipper chip so basically you are getting the um, the access to the um, uh, to the private repositories um, via github token that is shipped during the during the purchase so this version can be found here on github uh, it's a public repository but the um, in order to use the product and to install the ui you need to um, get access to this uh, github token which is shipped during the during the purchase okay let me um, let me demonstrate how it works so uh, for this uh, demonstration i will use a temporary github uh, token which will be erased after the demonstration so if anyone tries to use it uh, will not work so uh, let let me clone the source code which uh, as I mentioned before, it's uh, saved on the on a public repository. So I will go here. Okay. Okay. So basically, I have the source code and. Uh, in order to use the product, I need to to follow up the instructions as provided here um, on the README. So the first step is to uh, get the GitHub token, which is shipped during the purchase, and uh, export it into the environment. Okay. I'm creating a virtual environment and now I will uh, copy the um, GitHub token and export it into my environment and follow up the instructions here. So we can see that the um, private repository is, uh, is accessed based on this uh, GitHub token. And uh, the UI is uh, is installed. We need to wait a little bit in order to to have the completion of uh, all the compilation and installation. We can see that uh, all the, the the product is shipped with the latest Django, so um, it's super super safe from the security point of view. Now the modules are installed, we need to migrate the database. I will create also super user. Sorry. Okay, now the user is uh, the super user is created, and now we can uh, start application. Call. Cool. So this is the UI. Um, we can 
login, of course. And now we can access the, um, the admin section, which is also styled. And uh, this section is reserved for super users. We have here the uh, all the users is the is basically the classic uh, um, admin, uh, <coughs> admin section provided by Django, but this time it's styled with this uh, super super nice design. Okay, let's uh, log out and uh, uh, create a new account. This time it's a simple user. I will uh, type here the password in order to avoid that uh, typing mismatch. Once the user is created, we are automatically redirected to the to the sign in, and uh, now we are successfully authenticated as a as a common user. We can see here that the um, uh, left sidebar is changed. We have access to all pages uh, like uh, calendar charts widgets maps so the ui is super super nice okay so we have the product we can uh, extend now the ui we can add uh, other features but how about uh, deploying the the product live so uh, this should be simply amazing Let's uh, go back to the, um, the repository here and um, I will uh, just uh, access the, um, my render dashboard. So uh, the product comes with a continuous integration, continuous deployment flow for render. Uh, for newcomers, Render it's a, a deployment uh, platform that helps us to, to go live with uh, many type of projects uh, crafted in uh, encoded in uh, Python, Go, uh, PHP, or other well-known languages, and of course with um, static websites built with React and Vue and uh, other UI engines. And uh, continuous deployment and continuous uh, integration flow means that uh, we are we connect our uh, sources with the um, um, with the deployment layer, and uh, once the um, the code base is updated, the, the changes are automatically reflected uh, on the um, on the live version. Okay, so we need to go here. Once we uh, activate our render account, we just need to copy this uh, this URL. We need to create a new blueprint, which is cool. Okay. Okay, now we need to wait a little bit. Uh, render analyzes the code base and um, uh, detects what type of product uh, is pushed into the platform. So uh, the flow is possible because of uh, these two files. Render.eiml basically it's a, uh, it's a simple informer for render that uh, explains the environment of the project which in this case is Python and uh, this uh, super minimal uh, bash script that executes some um, uh, a minimal setup uh, required by the project. In this case um, we have, uh, upgrade the, the installer. We install all the project dependencies, collect static because this step is um, mandatory for uh, production Django projects and also migrate the database. Uh, one important thing is that uh, the first deployment will will fail because uh, we didn't export the GitHub token into the environment and uh, we need to go here into environment, uh, click on add new variable and uh, simply copy the, the same value provided during the during the purchase and uh, we need to put it here save the changes go back to the project and uh, once we update the um, environment uh, render uh, render platform takes the change and force a new deployment okay 
Now we need to wait a little bit and uh, check out the uh, compilation log. Okay, so basically we, we have no errors, uh, database is migrated, all the dependencies are properly installed and uh, the build is flagged as successful and soon the project should be up and running at this address and uh, we can see that uh, we didn't do much just uh, import the, the URL project and uh, we are good to go okay we can see here that the um, uh, render um, flags this uh, deployment as successful um, and uh, we can uh, access the live instance okay it's the same thing as uh, as being uh, on the local environment but this time we are live uh, let's uh, create a new account test test at creative Um, I will type here the password just to avoid the mismatch case. The user is successfully created and we are in. So basically, we are live with this product in less than five minutes since we, we access the source code and um, all looks super, super nice in my opinion. So guys, um thanks for watching this is the product uh, let us know what you think about it uh, what product what the other models should be added to, to this uh, code base and uh, in all cases um, uh, we provide support we provide assistance using email or uh, discord server of uh, creative team where um, the community is super super great and we have more than uh, 500 members thanks for watching again adrian from uh, creative team and uh, as always i wish you all a super super day bye guys